Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to um, take a Facebook post that has been running inside of an ad that has a lot of social proof on it and actually transfer that into another ad. Oftentimes we start to run Facebook ads and we find that the actual ad is getting a ton of social proof and it may not necessarily be a post that you posted on your fan page, it could just be an actual ad that you created where you wrote up the copy, the headline, the description, you uploaded a video or an image, and you wanna keep using that for future campaigns because you don't wanna lose all that social proof. So why do you not want to create a, so one of the things that, you know, why do you not wanna create another campaign with a brand new ad when you have a ton of social proof? Because that sells. You're gonna get higher click-through rates, you're gonna get hopefully more visitors to the page, hopefully more sales when you have a lot of social proof. So oftentimes with our Facebook clients, um, some of our clients that we run ads for, um, we'll create their initial ad and um, it'll get a ton of social proof because we've been driving a lot of traffic to it, but there might come a point where we realize, okay, this audience is not working anymore. We need to change the audience. And so the big mistake we see a lot of marketers make is they actually go in, they create a new campaign, they create a new audience in the ad set level, and they write a whole new ad. And they don't even think about the fact that they had that other ad running that had a ton of social proof. So let me just show you what um, what you can do and how you can do that. So here's the campaign level on this one here. This is the ad set we're targeting, um, a specific audience, and then we have two ads under here. So if we click down on the ad level here, you'll see that um, we've got this ad right here, and let's just say this had a ton of comments and a ton of social proof. The way that you wanna check that is you wanna come over here and you wanna obviously go to mobile news feed, and then right here you're gonna click on open, and you wanna see the Facebook post with comments. So this will pull up right here, and then let's just, again, this is just an example, this one had a ton of comments and a ton of shares and a ton of reactions, and we wanna keep using that because it's, social proof works really well. So you wanna take note of this ID right here in this post, and you're gonna to wanna to copy that. And then we're gonna come back to the ad manager, and let's just say um, we create a brand new campaign and um, we have created a new audience and then we'll just come in here and let's just say we're going to have a new ad in here. And then what you would do is you would come down into the ad level here and let me just close this one out here. So I'm gonna clear the images and you're gonna come up here and you're gonna go use existing post and then from there, whoops, it didn't click over there. Use existing post, you're gonna select the post, and then you can add it in here to try to find it. Sometimes it doesn't show up here, but let's go ahead and do that. Depending on how you've set that up, you can enter the post ID instead. So I'm gonna click paste and click submit, and there it is. It pulled it up right there. So let's just say, um, I'm gonna show you another example. So here's another ad. Let's just say this one got a ton of social proof. Again, see the post. Here's the ID, we're just gonna copy that. We're gonna come back here and, you know, let's just say we created another ad. There's like a gnat flying around here and it's very annoying. Um, again, this is not creating a brand new ad, I'm actually duplicating the ad, but you would go in and create a new ad. I'm duplicating, it's gonna obviously put that same ad there. But I'm talking about if you wanna put this in a whole nother campaign. So you'll just come in here. So like, here's a good example. So this is a different one, so I would clear the videos. Um, we would come up here and we would say, uh, use an existing post, enter the post ID, paste it, submit. And there it is. It pulled it up and then you have the one with all that social proof on it. So that's how you do it. That's how you um, take a, an ad that has a ton of social proof and pull that post ID from that ad and put it into a new campaign. You're just entering that post ID right here. So if you got a lot of value from this, be sure to comment, share it, give us a like, and subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.